Okay, so I connected everything together and now I, ha I have a functional Debian installer on the screen. So let's have a look. Okay, so you can see all those cables and uh, as you see I've used the chipset setup port. I'm not sure if I did it correctly. I will see. I connected all these audio and USB cables. I have four gigabytes of memory and here you can see the power connector. As you can see it's a little longer but it still fits and this this extra part is removable by the way so if you don't like it if you don't like this extra part you can remove it easily but I just uh, tried and then put it back again because next time I will open this box I would probably not remember this part belongs to this part so I just let it in the original shape. Now the P4 connector over here is connected as well because the main board manual says it would not work without this one I'm happy the power supply has this connector and that's pretty much it I'm still missing one SATA cable for the second hard disk uh, one thing which I like is this fan which is removable very easily so if it breaks you can swap it with a replacement if you are happy to buy some there is also a dust filter on the on the fan which is also very easily removable so you can clean it another thing I like is oh, this is the boot flash by the way another thing I like is the trays uh, I originally thought they are not screwless but in fact they are because they have uh, as you can see the hard disk holds in position but if you don't want to fix it by the screws you have these these tiny pins there is one and here is a second one which hold the hard disk in its position so you can just put it inside and it will hold pretty firmly if someone in a stupid comes and just takes it and flips it over then you would better fix it by one of these screws or the screws on the side but otherwise it as you see it holds and then um, so you don't need the screws if you are sure you will not flip the hard disk the only disappointment I have from this system meantime is the power consumption because uh, it's pretty high I have one hard disk 4 gigabytes of RAM and then one flash USB stick and as you can see it's 44 watts and uh, 
I have built a, another system with Intel Atom which has the GSEJT chipset. Uh, this is the, this is the previous model, model from Intel and it had only 13 watts so it was like uh, four times better in the power, consum power consumption sense. So this is still pretty much it and as I'm finished with the installation I will have a fully, function fully functional network attached storage system. Okay, thank you for viewing and uh, see you next time.